Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to briefly talk about the Trans Alta Renewables stock and my take on the recent earnings report. For those of you who are recently subscribed to the channel, I analyzed three Canadian stocks in the past and predicted that these companies will probably cut their dividend in the future based on their balance sheet, their debt, and lack of growth in their cash from operations. These three stocks were Algonquin Power, Northwest Healthcare REIT, and Trans Alta Renewables. Between these three companies, Algonquin Power is already slashed their dividend by 40%, but the other two companies are still paying out their dividend. I want to go on record here and double down on my previous predictions. I think the management team at Trans Alta Renewables will slash their dividend despite their previous promises to keep paying out the dividends. This is their previous statement on the dividend, which was, I think, issued around mid-December, almost two months ago. As we look ahead, our near-term objectives will focus on dividend sustainment by focusing on growth opportunities that manage our tax horizon while retaining the dividend payout ratio desired by our income-focused investors. As you can see, the management number one priority was to keep the dividend in place. Yes, Trans Alta Renewable is making progress on the rehabilitation of its Kent Hills wind facilities, which they hope to help uh, be able to help the company to sustain its dividend. My prediction is that despite all these promises and efforts, they will cut the dividend soon. It's of course just my prediction, it's not guaranteed or anything. It's not a financial advice for you to buy, hold, or sell your stock based on this. And they may be able to continue to pay the dividend by diluting shareholders or raising capital via debt. But based on the balance sheet of this company and their failure in capital allocation and risk management, I think they have to cut the dividend by at least 25% to be able to continue their normal operations. This is my opinion, right? And this is actually not the worst possible outcome for shareholders. The worst outcome is that the management want to continue to pay this dividend despite not having enough cash on their balance sheet. So they have to further dilute shareholders, take on new debts, or potentially stop capital reinvestments. Stop it 100%, which can cause serious damages to long-term returns of investors. This is the worst case scenario and not dividend cut. If they don't invest in themselves, you will not see any fundamental return from this business in the long term, which is worst case scenario in my book as a long term investor. I hope my predictions are wrong and they will be able to continue their operations, increase their revenue and profits quarter after quarter without slashing the dividend or diluting shareholders. But I don't like to see regular shareholders like you and me ending up holding the bag in these companies. So I just want to mention the risks of investment in this company to everybody out there. Trans Alta Renewables has a real issue with cash flow, profitability, and lack of growth drivers. This is their last earnings report, and you can clearly see that most of their main matrix are down or stagnate year over year. The renewable energy production, which is the main part of their business, which is the main point of this company, was actually lower comparing to the last year in this quarter because they had to shut down some of their assets during this quarter. Their expense ratio was also higher, so as a result, their EBITDA, free cash flow, and their cash available for distribution is down significantly year over year in this quarter. The company is obviously not growing and actually shrinking. They have major issues covering the dividend now. This quarter, they had 22 cents in cash available for distribution, while the dividend they have to pay per share is 23 cents. In the whole year, they had 91 cents available for distribution, and they have to pay 94 cents in dividend, which means their payout ratio is over 100%. The payout ratio is close to 103% right now. The interest rate is still rising, and I think they will have even lower cash available for distribution in the next quarter. The company have three options right now. First, cut the dividend. Second, dilute the shareholders or take on new loans to cover this difference. None of these options is, are ideal for shareholders. The first time I published a video about Trans Alta Renewables, the stock price was around $18 per share. 
and I discussed the valuation of the company and concluded that the stock was overpriced and overvalued by almost 52%. And the fair value of the stock was around $8 per share. Today, TransAlto Renewable's share price is around $11 per share. And I think the company still is, on, is overvalued. They had major issues like the crack on their wind turbines assets in the last two years. And because of those capital expenditures to repair these assets, they couldn't really reinvest in themselves, acquire new facilities, develop new facilities, hire good engineers, and therefore they couldn't really grow their cash flow and now they have issues to even pay out the current dividend. They mentioned the reasons for these issues and de uh, declining their cash flow, which according to them is primarily due to higher interest costs, higher taxes, major capex to repair the damaged assets, and of course the outage of some of the renewable assets including Kent Hills turbines during the year. Anyway, I think they really have major financials and operational issues at, at this point. Is it possible that TransAlta Renewables can sustain its dividend and then eventually they can generate a bit more cash flow by new assets that they say will be online in 2023? Of course, yes. It is possible, but is it probable? I would say no they probably cannot increase their cash flow significantly by next quarter and next year. If you are investing in this company for dividend, you are taking on a huge risk with a very little upside. In the base case scenario, they were able to continue to pay the dividend and bring down the payout ratio to something like 100%. So you will get a return close to the market average, 8%. In worst case scenario, their expense continue to grow and their cash flow will stay the same or even goes lower and they have to dilute you or take on new loans or cut the dividend because they have to. This is the definition of a high risk, low reward investment, which is exactly the opposite of what you have to do in your investment journey. There you are guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will come back with a new stock analysis video or probably my por a portfolio update video soon. But until that time, I see you guys in the next video. Farewell.